Okay, dear student, today we would like to draw some quadratic graphs. You know, quadratic means you will have something called as x square term. Okay, so any graph related to x square will be a quadratic graph. We will not go beyond this. So let's try for time being. We'll take first graph uh, as the simplest one. Y is equal to x square. Okay. Now since x square is there, we shall take the both values of uh, x. That is x value and uh, x values as a positive as well as negative, and try to find out the corresponding, uh, you know, corresponding uh, values of y. Say, uh, we'll form a graph. We'll have here x and we have y here. Okay. So we'll prefer to take some values like you know maybe a 0, 1, uh, maybe minus 1, minus 2, similar way. So begin with, we'll take, uh, first to begin, we'll take 0, maybe 1, uh, say 2, and say minus 1, and minus 2, okay? With respect to this, we'll try to find a corresponding value of uh, y, okay? Okay, let's try now. Say we have first part to find, we have y is equal to x square, and now we are going to use this value for x, that is uh, for x is equal to 0. If I do that, I know it will become y is equal to 0 square, and 0 square definitely is 0. So, we will write this as uh, 0 here, okay. Similarly, we will try to find the second value for, you have y is equal to x square, for say x is equal to 1, we are taking this 1. So, it will become 1 square, and it is 1, right. So, we get 1 here. Let us go for the next, we have uh, 3, y is equal to x square for x is equal to 2. So, now if you are doing this, this 2 will substitute here, this is 2 square, if nothing is to be 4, okay. So, we we'll write here for 2, you get 4. Uh, interestingly, uh, we go for next, you see, we have is equal to y is equal to minus 1, for x is equal to x, we have, uh, say, we are taking x equal to minus 1. If that is the case, uh, you will write minus 1, because the value of x is minus, and since the square, we are square, and you know that squaring any negative number, you get a positive. So, you get 1, okay. Similarly, the last value, last value to find, we have y is equal to x square, for x is equal to minus 2. If I take minus 2, it will be, say, uh, x is minus 2, is a square, write a square, and you know that we should get a positive value. Since there is 2, 2 square become 4. Okay, we'll write this is equal to 4. Now, we have the points ready. Let's try to plot the graph. You see the maximum value of x is uh, minus 2, and the maximum value of y is 4. Okay, so accordingly, we should mark the points here. So, we'll take uh, somewhere. We don't require much space here. But you have to make sure that uh, you have the origin uh, with 0, you know, because the graph is quadratic. I'm just plotting those lines here okay and uh, maybe somewhere in the center you can take or any part of the graph so that your those values you found fits into the this so i marked here okay maybe somewhere here so we have x equal to 1 2 3 i think maximum we have 2 we need not mark next values if you're interested you can mark but not required we say minus 1 and minus 3 okay and definitely this is your origin 0 0 now required y axis we don't have any negative value only positive should we'll mark on one line y axis so 1 2 3 4 Five. However, we have maximum 4 here, so we need not go further. Now, let us mark the points. How do we mark the points? Right. So, we have uh, for 0, for zero, x equal to 0, we have y is also equal to 0. So, we will end circle here. Okay. For x equal to 1, for x equal to 1, we get y also is equal to 1. So, x equal to 1, we get y is equal to 1. Going further, for x equal to 2, we get 4. For x equal to 2, we get to 4. So, we reach here. Now, we will come to the negative side of the x axis, that is, for x is equal to minus 1, we get 1. So, x is equal to minus 1, that also we get 1 here, positive 1. For x is equal to minus 2, we get 4. For x is equal to minus 2, we get positive 4. So, minus 2, 4 will come here. Okay. After getting this, there could be as number of points in between there. So, we will not join directly with the scale, but we will make a smooth curve in this fashion. Because we know there are so many spells lying in between those points marks. And you will show this arrow because this is going to be infinite. Okay. So, you write equation on this is equal to y is equal to x square. Okay. That is complete equation. However, we write a scale for this uh, uh, scale for this uh, graph. So, I prefer to write in this fashion. You can also try this very nice fashion, very nice way of writing along x axis. So, I am particularly telling about how I am going to write about x axis. So, we write say along x axis uh, we have so 1 centimeter, I can say 1 centimeter is equal to I have taken 1 unit. So, we write 1 unit. So, I completed uh, x axis. So, also we write x is equal to y along y axis. Again, same thing 1 centimeter is equal. You see, in this case, we have taken 1 only. So, we write 1 unit. Okay, this complete the uh, first graph. I hope you have understood this graph very clearly without any issues. Okay, let us try to go plot the next graph. The next graph we shall take as y is equal to c minus x square. Okay, so also as we did earlier, we shall try to take the uh, both x and positive values of uh, x. So, the graph cover both the, you know, both the side of the, this 2, 3, 4 and 5. Yeah, so, so 5 values. So, we will take, uh, this is x, this is y. We will take value like 0, 1. You can take any value, there is no problem with this. This is 2. Uh, because this is the demo, I have chosen some values, preferably which are feel like good, can be taken. So, now for all the values of x, uh, I am going to find the values of y. Let us try out. We have y is equal to x, not x, but it is a minus x square. Okay. So, for x is equal to 0, so you will get y is equal to minus 0 square and definitely there is no doubt the answer is 0. Okay. So, since we get 0, we write 0. Now, we will try to go for next value. Say y is equal to x square for x is equal to, we will take 1. 
if I take this one, uh, okay, this is minus x. Let me correct here. Uh, this will take as a minus x, okay, minus x. If this is minus x, uh, then you have minus and you have x equal to 1 and that is square, not uh, minus 1 square, but it's a minus 1 square. So, the minus sign continue as it is minus and 1 square gives you 1. So, your answer comes to here as minus 1. Uh, let's go ahead with the next value. We have y is equal to x minus x square for x is equal to 2. If that's the case, you get minus uh, and 2 square, minus 2 square. Okay, you have to be very careful about here. The sign continues. 2 square gives you 4 and the answer comes to nothing but minus 4. Okay, now we'll go for the next side. It is the negative side so of value of x. So, we have y is equal to x square. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, y is equal to minus x square for x equal to c. I'm going for minus 1. Let's try what happens. If I do this, minus sign continues. Now, in the x, in the place of x, what comes to minus 1? Because we are trying to find the minus 1 square. Yes? So, this will become y is equal to minus and minus 1 square is nothing but positive. The final answer will be nothing but minus 1. Okay. So, also we try to find the last values. Uh, so, we have fifth one, minus n, x square, x is equal to minus 2. If that is the case, we write minus and the value of x is nothing but minus 2 whole square. Minus, but minus 2 because the square answer will be 4. The final answer should be equal to minus 4. Okay. More about is give the same symmetry along the axis. Let's try. Let's try to plot this graph. So, we have to see that uh, we have both x values and y values. In x, we have maximum minus 2 and plus 2. But here, we have all negative values and that go below. So, we can use any part of the graph. You need not use the middle part. If you want, you can middle part. That will depend upon your choice too and the availability of the graph size. Okay. So, I shall use this. I'm plotting here the central line. Uh, I don't require much space, but still I'll try to draw it. Okay. Since I require all negative, maybe I can choose any part of this graph. Uh, maybe here up and etc. So, this way. So, I write here, make this is of course origin. So, we have 1, 2, 3 because that's the maximum value of x we have here. Okay. Similarly, you can write this as minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. That's far enough. Okay. Now, for y, we have all negatives below. So, we go below down. We write this uh, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. That's far enough. Okay. Let's try to mark the points. For uh, x is equal to 0, okay. For x is equal to 0, you have 0. Okay. As we did earlier. We encircle dot and we encircle. Please do not scrub like this or do something like this. Try to put a dot and encircle so that you don't you know what they're doing, right? So for one is equal to you get for x equal to one, you get minus one. Since the minus one will go down here. For x is equal to two, you get minus four. X is equal to you come down here, it comes to minus four. Okay. So we have completed this side. Let's try to for, the, for x equal to minus one, because minus one you get nothing but again minus one. Minus one, you get minus one. Mark here. For x equal to minus two, you come down, it comes to okay. Uh, okay. Okay. You can see, okay, for x equal minus 2, you get uh, minus 4 in circle like this, okay. Now, the simplest job you have to do is that just join smoothly without use, not using the scale, but smoothly because there are so many points in between uh, these points available and just like this. So, your equation nothing but minus x square. Similarly, you can write the uh, scale the which I shown earlier to scale, you know, like along x axis, okay. So, we say 1 centimeter is equal to what you have taken 1 unit, you write 1 unit, okay. If it is 1 centi uh, along y axis, this is nice way of writing. So, you are very clear about what you are writing the scale. So, we have 1 centimeter is equal to, in along also y also we have taken 1. Maybe we can mark here 1, 2 doesn't matter, but not required for us to write for this graph. Anyhow, the, it is 1 unit. Okay, this complete a graph of y is equal to minus x. Similarly, you can have another graph like, you know, uh, x square plus 1 or it will be minus x square plus 3, whatever case may be. Okay, the graph will have for all positive x square, it will be, uh, you know, upper part of the uh, will be used of the x axis. For minus x and all of the issues, it will come. You can also get something like y is equal to 2x square. This everything is same, but it will double the graph little bigger size, nothing more than that. It will go up and down. Otherwise, all the graphs, quadrigraphs, graphs, are more or less looks like this. Okay, I hope you understood this.